good morning y'all welcome back to my channel oh, it has been it has been such a long time um please ignore my voice i'm sick i'm actually like recovering from i don't know if it's a cold or if it's like it's not a fever i think it's just a cold or like allergies or something i don't know but i don't have allergies so i actually think it's a cold <laughs> but my siblings were sick and i guess like me just being around them so much me just being around them so much i got sick as well but the thing about me is that i rarely get sick so when i do get sick it's like bad so the for, for the for the past two days like my voice was gone so it's actually like, coming back in right now and i will I've, I've been up but like i've been in bed i haven't really said much anything yeah much of anything this morning so <clears throat> my voice is like really hoarse right now but i just wanted to start this vlog by saying hi i know it's been like so long since i've posted like an actual video and of course it's been like months like almost a year since i posted like a vlog actually so i will be um I will be recording more vlogs. Um, I'm moving back on campus literally Sunday. Today's Saturday, so literally tomorrow. Oh my god, that is so crazy. It's tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow I will be um, moving back on campus tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening around then. Around then. So this time I have three roommates, and in my past I've always had a good experience with roommates. Nothing has ever went wrong. Um, I have no problem with my roommates. Um, we got along pretty well everyone like was very respectful everybody it, like you know um respected everybody's space and just we dealt nicely like we were really good so i don't feel like there's gonna be any problem with these new set of roommates that i have and i actually know one of the roommates because i met her at asa the african student um association at my school um so i know her from there and i also know her through a mutual friend so um that's cool that we're rooming together we're not gonna be in the same room but like we're gonna be in the same facility so that's great um i have packed oh my god my room is so messy so that's what that's one of the things i want to do with y'all that i'm um, since i'm recording but i also wanted to talk to y'all a little bit because um not only have i not been on youtube but like i've been kind of like in a funk for like a couple months like i feel like for no, no no not a couple months like for um so i did summer school so i was in school till july like 31st right so um since school ended i've just felt very very kind of like defeated um because you know it's always ideal to have a plan or like goals that you set for yourself but i feel like sometimes um life be life in life be life in and like it gets realistic to the point where it's like okay point where it's like okay is this actually like realistic for me like is this actually meant for me so like the whole school process um the whole career process that i'm going through it's kind of like making me like second guess myself so i've just been like a horrible funk about like not believing in myself and not trusting god's process um <clears throat> so yeah um Am I the only one that kind of likes when, like, my voice is, like, hoarse? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, like, I like that, like, that hoarse is. It's kind of cute. I plan on vlogging more. And I know I said that last semester. But there's something different about this time around. I took organic, organic chemistry during the summer. And, like, that class took a toll on me. Like, I was, I was not, I was not good. <laughs> Your girl was not good at all this semester thankfully i passed i passed or getting chemistry for the first time during a summer semester like come on like i'm i didn't really come to um i didn't really like understand what i've done until my friend that was like stuck he was stuck with me and he actually got irritated me at a certain point because i was so negative and he was like i don't want to read the messages because it's private but he would like actually like went off on me and like let me know that like i'm tripping i'm just like being super negative like and it's actually getting annoying you know 
and like that kind of like made me like snap into reality like it's i'm not the only one that matters like i'm not the only one that's in this class i'm not the only one that's struggling i'm not the only one that's you know going through his emotions like even though he like did very well it was still kind of like i get it like that i'm doing well but you need to also believe in yourself and i felt like i just wasn't believing in myself <clears throat> that kind of like you know kind of slapped me up like woke me up a little bit oh i didn't even tell you the story you, sometimes i tell stories with, with another story like anyways but the other day he was texting me and he like literally made me like understand like you took organic chemistry one of the hardest classes to pass in college during a summer semester which is way faster way compact and can it's a lot of information at once and you passed it your first time some people don't even pass it during the fall semester and like not to like down on anybody but like he was trying to uplift me and i was like wow you're actually right so that actually like gave me like a nice little like boost a little bit boost back up because i was knocked off my high horse and he was like you weren't really knocked off too bad because you did it like you know so i'm like organic too and that's that's something that I really need to pray for because that class is it, it's a continuation of what I was struggling in the last chapter before school ended so yeah like this semester like I need to like pour into myself make sure I have fun because I won't get a chance like this ever again but also make sure that I finish off strong so that the GPA that I end up with is going to be beneficial for the next step I have for life so that actually like made me like you know kind of like you know but um after school ended i've just been in bed like i've done nothing i haven't even worked i started a depop you know selling a lot of my old clothes because i have so many clothes that i do not wear anymore it's taking up my storage and everything so i sell those um i will have it linked in my bio if you do see anything that you like um Shipping will be a little slower because um, I'm going to be on campus. I'm not going to bring the three full bags of clothes that I have to campus, you know, just in case someone wants to order. It'll just be whenever I get home, I'll get the clothes that people um, um, ordered. And then once I get back to school, I'll just ship it out because we have a mailing office over there. There is a special somebody that I have met and we do plan to do a lot together and also just for me as well but um those things that we do do together i do want to honestly i just want to fill my life honestly i just want to make the most memories i can while i'm here i want to be in the moment i don't want to think about of course i'm gonna think about the future but i don't want to stress about the future so i'm just gonna be in the moment so while i'm in the moment i'm going to be enjoying and i will film like this camera will be out and i'm telling myself now just to repeat it repeat it repeat it there's a couple goals that i want to instill in myself there's a like routines i want to still i want to start journaling again i used to journal all the time write down everything it was amazing i'm gonna go right back to that gym go to the gym bright and early i already told you i have one gym body and then i have one gym buddy and then the per special person i was talking about we also made a pact to also be in the gym so y'all will see me in the gym my camera will be out um i'm starting a nail business if you go to Georgia state and you like do your nails for a reasonable price um i do gel x very um they're not damaging they're not as damaging as acrylics so much better and i have a back to school deal going on so make sure to tune into that um it's just there's a lot that i want to do so i want to film that you know but yeah y'all so first thing i'm going to do is make my bed um there's there's a lot going on um oh i just want to start reading <clears throat> oh my book is so i want to start reading for leisure again i feel like once you get into college it's really hard to actually like read for enjoyment so there's a couple books that i've been meaning to read that's just been sitting on my table um a black man in a white coat this is actually one of the referred books when i was like a freshman and i didn't know any better they're like oh yeah you have to buy these books we did not talk about this book once but it's a good book i think it says new york times bestseller but like doesn't all books say that but um <clears throat> a walk to remember i love this movie it's my favorite movie ever ever my dad got me 
that book of this so i'm gonna read this this has been sitting i don't know where i got this from but it says understanding the purpose and power of women so it's a book for women and men who love them so definitely gonna read this and just you know learn about women and the power of them and then this is another book that was requested um us for us students to buy for one of this class um it's called in the kingdom of the sick we never touched this book so it looked like it's nice and clean i mean i keep my stuff well but like when i read stuff you're gonna know that i read stuff not like messing them up or anything oh my gosh it has bookmarks perfect i was gonna have to make one myself but that is actually perfect but um yeah i will be reading for leisure so these four books i want to finish them literally before i go on thanksgiving break i need to finish all of these annotate them tell y'all about them like one of the goals and then i want to start journaling as well a good friend of mine bought me this journal um it was like around valentine's day last year and um it's nice nice little journal this is optimist i used it like once and it was for like um what's it called oh that is so funny um i was <laughs> i was speaking stuff into existence um manifesting and i actually wrote my manifestations down um for housing for that fall i didn't get it but it's okay but um that was the only page i wrote so i'm going to be using this journal and i love how it says optimist i actually texted him not too long ago thanking him again for this because i saw it and like instantly remembered him so i really appreciated that my dad got me a camera film camera so this is the um it's this this is the instax mini 75 um so that special person i told y'all about he's actually giving me the film to put in here and then while i'm on campus i'll get some batteries but um um there are batteries in here so it does work but i'm gonna have to get some more when i go over there so i'll be able to take photo memories because y'all know how maybe it's just my parents but my parents have these like photo albums where it's like um print out pictures and they like like um what's it called display them and they save them in their like storage or whatever and i always go through them and just like look and like oh who's this is this is this you know and they just like tell me about them and like tell stories i don't do that for my kids like i don't want to pull up instagram but like oh yeah that's my instagram <laughs> no um like i know there's a way to like make instagram photos into um what's it called into film or like the printables but i just i want it straight out and then i did but, um i actually got this this is the olympic the olympus digital camera it's very cute i did take like one um photo on here um it's in my recent instagram story but i will be using this for like everyday photos like there's gonna be a whole lot of content like when i tell y'all like a girl's prepared i have three cameras and my phone like come on this is much much later i just got out the shower and i just moisturized and tanned so <laughs> y'all are probably like girl what do you need to tan for black girls can tan too um and my tanning is not like sitting on the sun tanning it's actually Oh, uh, what's it called? Like fake tanning, right? All right, so let's let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> let me let y'all know on my my skin or whatever. So I don't want to have get my my tripod in position and stuff. So I'm just gonna lean y'all on something. Um, but yeah, so you can't really see me. Oh, my trap. So yeah, so basically I don't, I, I fake tan, right? So um, this brand actually sent me this. brand sent me a body wash and a body moisturizer. It's called Body Proud. It is vegan. Hyaluronic acid and it's um, mixed with sparkling pear and um, bamboo water. 100% vegan. My skin is super sensitive. So since I've been using this, I've had no like reactions, itchiness, nothing like that. It goes onto the skin so smoothly um but yeah they gifted this to me i was on their pr whatever 
thing for some reason. I don't know how I got on there, but they gave this to me and I was like, cool. So I've been using that for the past like week or so. Yeah, week or two. And it's been amazing. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. But um, yeah, so I took a shower, I exfoliated, I used the African Net sponge. Um, so once I come out, I put this on. This isn't usually what I use to moisturize, I use Vaseline. But when I fake tan, I use this body moisturizer because it's soft, it's lightweight. Um, when I use the tan, um, fake tan and use the Vaseline, I don't know if that made any difference. But this is just more lightweight. It's a self tanner that I use, it is Saint saint tropez or saint tropez self tanner the best thing about the self tanner is that it does not transfer so i have white bed sheets if y'all did not see earlier i have white bed sheets so i always knew that like if i ever wanted to self tan i would have to like take it off for the night or like when however long i wanted to um you know self tan in but as i was scrolling through tiktok because that's how i find out about fake tanning through tiktok um I learned that there were self tanners that don't transfer and I came across this one kept on looking at reviews and more reviews I kept on seeing amazing results from like other people so I was like okay let me go ahead and get it it is a little pricey but y'all this stuff goes a long way um I got this like when like June this summer it is August I know it's August but like y'all I have self tan like I can't even count like it should be up to 10 times I've self-tanned. This is actually the self, the second day of me self-tanning. And y'all, this is where it's at. It's not even halfway yet. Like, can y'all see that? It's not even halfway. I got this in June. And I told, and I self-tanned like over 10 times. Like, not even halfway yet. So, it's a little goes a long way. I do one pump for each body part. So, I do like one pump arms and shoulders. One pump arms and shoulders. One pump chest. One pump stomach. One pump, like, you know, just like that. And it's not even halfway yet. So, it's a little pricey, but it's going to last you a long time. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, it takes eight hours to develop. Like I said earlier, this is my second day self tanning. And you can kind of see the difference. Y'all can see the difference in my face and my... Um, my arm like you can see it's like a little bit like bronzed glowy like sun kiss type of look love it so after today because i just put it on so eight hours from now it's gonna be well developed and it's gonna be like a little bit darker i like to do it twice because i haven't done it in a while i like to do it twice so i can get a dark look um but like of course this is perfectly fine but like i like it to be noticeable like i like to be glowy and i plan to be at the pool okay um i don't know if i should take this to college i'll probably like redo it every time i come home because i don't want to like overdo it you know but yeah the body is bodying it's glowing like y'all can actually like see it like I, I don't know if y'all can see it, but like I can tell. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's like bronze. My face is like dull, but this is bronze. This vlog is gonna be very, very short. I wanted to do a uh, um, maintenance, maintenance, back to school um, thing, but um, I already did my hair, I already did my nails. Oh, I don't think I showed y'all, but these are my new nails. If you know me, you know that I have been doing like regular, regular nails like french tip like very basic for a while now and <laughs> i tried out um what's it called um mermaid nails last sometime last semester and i fell in love with it and wizard kelly when i got them he was like yeah these are like fire the most fire nails ever and i was like yeah i like them but they just took a lot of time like i don't really have time for them that's why i always do the simple ones so i went back to doing like very simple nail designs and then um i was like you know what let me do something like let me do something um creative because i'm gonna be doing nails on campus like i'll be my own like promotion team basically so like, let me do something creative so that, like when i get back on campus and ask people if they want to do their nails i'll be like oh yeah i did mine you know and like show them something worth looking at you know if i see it be like oh yeah i did it and it's like french tip it's gonna be like girl okay like you know so i wanted to do something like a little bit different that you don't see all the time um i got this idea from pinterest super cute i got the 3d gel um so it's really cute really really cute i love it <laughs> added some pearls added some um what's it called chrome powder i think i already told y'all that y'all probably not gonna see wizard kelly y'all probably like see him in the background or y'all probably like see like 
this lower body. I had a conversation about Skims because I wanted to see what the hype was about. And I got this soft smoothing collection, the um, soft smoothing shirt with the matching shorts, um, shade Onyx, or they sent me Eclipse. But on the website it said Onyx, but when I got it on the tag it said Eclipse. I was like, what's going on? No, why is it almost hundred dollars when you can't get the, rain the name right? Sorry, but that was kind of off to me. But I tried it on. Yeah, it's soft. It's um, the shorts like what's it called? The shorts um, are very high waisted, so they kind of like shape your waist very nicely. I'll give her that. And then the shirt was very soft, very smooth. It didn't have you know when you put on shirts and they kind of like do that, especially the sheen shirts, and they kind of like do that. I hate that look. That shirt literally like flattened. But was still like stuck to you but like it's, it was fine i like that i like that about the shirt but honestly other than that it wasn't it wasn't all that like it really wasn't all that to me um it was okay like i feel like you can definitely find my it's saturday my siblings are going crazy please ignore, please ignore that um but you could find a lot of the dupes on amazon i think it's the same thing not like a hundred percent like I will get an Amazon dupe one of these days of like the same set that I got and try them on because I am no longer trusting what anybody says and I'm not gonna keep spending money to figure out that they're lying because the way that people were raving about skims and literally like shoving it down our throats that skims is the best sound drawer ever and there's nothing like it and it's smooth like butter and it's to die for and it's the best thing to ever be you know formed and like kim did her thing with this one it was very basic it was really basic i was very disappointed not gonna lie to y'all like maybe it's just a collection that wasn't all that to me the only thing i would buy again i'm not buy again but like the only thing i would actually buy would i buy it i don't know because i wouldn't wear it outside because it's indoor but that pink that bubblegum pink um like tank top with the boxer briefs not bo are they boxer briefs but like the boy the boy shorts type thing <laughs> The boy boxers that are, have those little lines that look like under, like boys' underwear, men's underwear. I would buy that, but the fact is, I wouldn't wear that outside. I'll probably wear like the tank top. I'll, I'll probably wear the tank top outside, like during summer maybe. But the shorts, I wouldn't wear it outside because it's just it looks like underwear. I feel like it looks better in a set, but I wouldn't wear that set outside. So if I'm not wearing the set outside. I wouldn't spend that much money on it. The other thing is the blacks don't even match. Like the blacks, I I don't know if I'm the only one who hates that, but like when you buy a black shirt and then you buy the black pants and then it's like different tones of blacks, considering that it's a set, considering it's the same color, I expected it for the money that it's worth to match. You know what I mean? So like the the shirt is like solid black and then the pants are like that off black type of look. If I wanted that, I could literally go to Walmart and get Spanish shorts just like that. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I have Spanish shorts that I wear, like, when I'm on my periods, so, like, I don't, like, leak all over the place. That is, like, that, um, form-fitting. Like, it contains me. Like, it molds to my body to make sure that I don't leak on myself. If I wanted the shorts not to match the shirt, I would've just wore those. You know what I mean? But the fact that... It doesn't match the tone. Low key irritated me, but it's okay. Money spent, it's all right, it's all right. But that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, Cause I, I think I started off saying, like started off talking about skins and then like I got distracted and started talking about something else, but that's that. Um, all I'm gonna do now is um, go see what my siblings are gonna eat. Cause I have to feed these children. And then I'm gonna do my lashes. I don't know if I should wait. No, I'm gonna do my lashes later on today. So y'all are gonna see that. Um, yeah. And this is probably, after my lashes, that's probably the last you're gonna see of me because I've done literally everything. I shaved after my, uh, y'all have not seen my hair this whole vlog. Y'all are gonna see it later, I'm sorry. But y'all are gonna see it later. I, I just walk around with the hair scarf on 24-7. I have to ask, should, do y'all think I should add ribbons to my sambas? Uh, they're so cute okay i know i'm hopping on the bandwagon but y'all like these are like an everyday shoe like i told y'all i'm going more for like a minimalist look nowadays 
and like those other brown shoes i wore them literally every way every day during the summer like all my other shoes i did not give them the time time like literally the time of day i did not wear any of them i wore sandals like one day so like i'm just just i'm just trying to find like more basic shoes more neutral shoes that go with any outfit like these go with literally anything i don't want to replace the laces with with um ribbons um go on pinterest and check sambas with ribbons so cute i would get like white ribbons and then some people put charms on them i don't know if i'll do all of that i'll probably like add one or two charms like probably like one right here what's up y'all <clears throat> i'm still sick but it's sunday I will be moving in later this afternoon, but I'm right, right now I'm getting ready for church. Just did my lashes. I was supposed to do it last night, but y'all, I got like so sick. Eyes were watering. Like I was so congested. Cough was horrible. Like a lot of mucus was in it. I don't even want to give y'all the, the details, but I was not good last night. So I was like, I'm not going to do my lashes. Um, but since I'm going to church today, I'm going to put on some makeup. Everything's literally like set out on my table right now since I'm getting ready. I was like, let me go ahead and do my lashes. And at first I wasn't gonna record, but I was like, let me just record it for y'all. So that's how I do my lashes. I get these um, clusters from Sheen, actually. I tried them once and I, this is my go-to. Like, I, if y'all like the look of these lashes that I did, um, get these. And then for the glue, I got this from Amazon. It's a Bond and Seal Lash Glue. I put this on, um, on my lashes and then Put the clusters on and i know you're not supposed to do this but i also use this as this has like a double security and do my lashes and that's all so that's the end of this vlog sorry all my camera cut off but that is the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching um this is like a little like maintenance you know catching up life update type of vlog the next vlog i will be at school i'll be moving in i'll do my whole little setup you might see some of my roommates i don't know but i'm so sorry for being sick this whole vlog this is like ugh, disgusting but thank you so much for watching i will see y'all in the next one bye